Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning from See Through Web, and in this Typo 3 tutorial video, we're going to demonstrate uploading a PDF file and linking an image to it. On the screen here, we have the website of the Sir Edmund Hillary Foundation of Canada, and we're looking at the Calgary page that uh, has information about events going on in Calgary. On the right side of the page here, we have a graphic that is talking about an upcoming event, the second annual Sherpa Stair Climbing Challenge and Calgary Tower Rappel. And it, if I click on it, it links to a PDF file, but that PDF file has been updated. So what we want to do is upload the new PDF and update the link in here so it's going to point to the new PDF. So to do that, I'm going to log in to the back end of the website. And I've actually already done it. Here we are. And so as always, if I click on page, I will see the page tree of the site. The first thing I want to do, though, is I want to upload the new PDF. So I'm going to switch to my file list. And it is a PDF for Calgary, so I'm going to click on that folder. Now, the current PDF is this one, and it may have a similar or same name. So what I'm just going to do, first of all, is rename this one so there'll be no confusion once I've uploaded the new one. And I'm just going to put the word old on the beginning. Okay, so we've now renamed that original PDF to old. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the new one. To do that, I'm going to click the Upload button. It's this icon at the top. It looks like a page with a green up arrow, which if I hover, shows me the Upload Files hint. So I'm going to click that, and it gives me the Upload dialog. And I can select Files, and uh, it pops my desktop browser. So I will just find the file. And I stored it in a folder on my desktop. There it is there. And as soon as I click that, it starts going. This file uploader is quite handy. You can actually select multiple files at one time, and it uh, will send them all up together for you. So it's a bit of a big file, so it's going to take just a moment to upload. Now, if I did, if my other file was of the same name, I could have ticked this overwrite existing files, and it would have overridden the original one. But I want to have a, a reference, so, I'm, so I changed that name on the original file. And we are just about there. When this upload completes, the screen will refresh and we will see that the new file is there. And there we go. Uh, look, I can sort by date. There it is, July 23rd, which is today, and that's the file there. Now, to link it on the page, I'm going to go to Page View. And that was the Calgary Current Events page. And there you can see the graphic in the right column there. So let me scroll on over and edit this content element. And if I flip to the media tab, there's the graphic itself. We're not changing that, but we are going to change the link. So uh, what I will do is click the uh, link browser button which will pop up a dialog where I can select things to link to. Now I want to link to a file, and it was in the PDF Calgary folder, and it was called Calgary Tower Repel and Stair Climb. That's the one there. So all I have to do is click on that there, and that's it. Actually, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to do that again. I want the PDF to open in its own window. So what I want to do is down here, there's a little setting. Actually, it's already set. Uh, this target, you can have a little drop down here where you can select whether it should be in a new window or in the top. Selecting new window automatically populates this underscore blank, which is the web code for open in new window. So I'll just update that again. I am going to save and close the page. And if I go back to my website and refresh this, Refresh this. Move down. I can't see if it's refreshing. I think it did. And you uh, click on it, it will now open up that new and updated PDF. So there you go. That's how you can upload a PDF file and link it. Thank you very much.